What a tough first job for this eager courier. I feel bad for him. Delivering a letter to the keeper of the crypt, it goes terribly wrong. Forced to go into the crypt to make this delivery, and it's a damn nightmare down there. Freaking blood rituals and spiders. I mean, of course there are spiders. Courier of the Crypts is a puzzle game with horror elements. The puzzles grow larger and more difficult as you descend into the crypt. This poor courier in his feeble attempt to make this delivery. It's unfortunate for the courier that the only way out is to go deeper. The crypt is a complicated mess of machinery. For example, you need to destroy a machine for a cog, then place that cog into another machine so it will run and open a door. The crypt has many switches, doors, and traps. That would be enough to be a nightmare. Now, throw in creatures that you don't want to mess with, and it's a super nightmare. Each level is one big puzzle to get to the end, with uh, many smaller puzzles inside. They do need to be solved in a certain order, though. There's one right way to finish it. But it's not so easy because I left out the best mechanic. The torch. This is what makes Courier of the Crypts unique. You carry a single torch that only has so much fuel. And it's important. Without it, you're dead. Spooky shades swoop in and kill you. It's an instant fail state, which is annoying, but the point of the game. So the torch is everything to your survival. You can turn it off and on whenever you want to save fuel, but the dungeon gets more difficult. Keep in mind that the fail state only happens when you completely run out of fuel, not when the torch is off, which makes it tough when you take damage and the torch turns off. Then you have to deal with the consequences. Note, there are points in a level that will refill your torch and you must play around that. You do not want to refill your torch too early. It's what makes Courier of the Crypts tricky. There's a time limit, but playing with the torch out makes the game more difficult. But anything is better than failure. It's a risk you have to take. As the game gets more difficult, you need to play riskier and run around with the torch out, dodging enemies and making them run into traps. However, once you learn the level, it's easier. Since there's only one way to finish a level, and each step is the same, you can keep trying until you learn the whole thing. Yet, it's the oppressive darkness that makes Courier the Crypt so amazing. At the start, the game gives you plenty of light, but as you go deeper, it gets darker and darker. Some very dark rooms where you must use the torch. But the game does a good job balancing between light and dark, so you don't have to memorize the rooms. Still, it's stressful. As the torch fuel is running out, you're running around a level looking for the next step. Panic sets in. Now you rush even more. So yes, stressful. but. Also thrilling. Side note, the combat is only in the game to serve the puzzles. You can only throw rocks at the enemies. It's simple. There are plenty of rocks, but I didn't kill every enemy I came across. That's pointless. Instead, I used it for enemies that were blocking the path, or if it would help with the puzzle timing. You don't want to engage the enemies if you can help it. You're a weak courier. Courier of the Crypts is polite though, and gives you plenty of chances to finish a level. There are checkpoints throughout a level. If you do restart from one, then your torch is refilled, which can really help you get through a tough spot. You can also die five times before having to completely restart the level. Five chances to figure out the steps of the puzzle, that's usually more than enough, and I expect better players than me to not struggle at all. With the fuel refilling and those five chances, you can map out a lot. Anyway, Courier of the Crypts has a shop, which is kind of odd. You spend the coins you find in the levels. It offers three types of upgrades, 
health, fuel, and rock-throwing power. There's only one true option, though, more fuel. The reason it's weird is because it messes with the puzzles. Puzzles are created to specification, to control the difficulty. By giving the player the ability to buy fuel, it can alter this. It fundamentally changes the way puzzles work. Now, if you don't buy the fuel, does that make the puzzles more difficult? Avoiding the main mechanic a little bit longer is going against the point of the game. One final thing to mention are the secrets and relics. Relics are extras you collect in a level. They're only for bragging or getting the Steam achievements. Some of them are hidden, so it will take effort to find them all. Overall, Courier of the Crypts is good and worth your time. The art style is great. The main character is funny, even though the crypt is a deeply sick place. The torch mechanic brings a depth to the puzzles that isn't as simple as timing. You have control over the timer at the expense of making the game more difficult. If you're into puzzle games, I suggest checking out Courier of the Crypts. It's a well-made game.